Hello and welcome, my name is Menturius and welcome back to Imperator Rome. In the last episode, we did something major. We took a big country in the south, but we also gained a lot of war aggression, uh, extensive aggressive war expansion let's see Egypt doesn't like me that much anymore although we already calculated for that and we improved our relationships maybe we should have gone for a peace alliance or a peace with them before but something interesting interesting has happened Samaria has expanded and isn't a defensive league with Sidian that's kind of interesting because I haven't seen that before. So I guess the biggest thing is uh, try to get our economy a little bit in a plus. So first thing we are going to do is uh, build a marketplace, get the economy up just a little bit, a little bit more tax income because well i could do the other things but they wouldn't help that much so for the moment we're going to pick that one we got a lot of buttons we need to check so these two there is not really something we can do about at the moment we need to, our manpower to restore and can we see which of the people is the most unhappy? Because that would help us. Government policy. So for the moment we need to get the war exhaustion down. Then we need to do the cultural and the religion conversion of the new areas. And... Let's see, because I thought I selected somebody else in the south. Persia. Ooh, I haven't. I thought I placed somebody in office. All right, so I kind of want to do the scorched fa scorn family that will bring back loyalty. Personality minus one. He's a scholar. He is popular. That is, but he gives lo lo the slaves happiness, and that that's something I could really use. So I'm going to take the risk. He's loyal, and well, his finest. I could pick this guy, but then I won't get these benefactors. Did. He gets so now we have him in the Sinai. Is this section nor that's not mine? I only got one province in that. And I'm not sure if Simon should govern this as well. Oh, let's see. I cannot change it. That's kind of annoying. So there's a lot of unrest there, but uh, the Dal has to come down. And let's first see if we got an invention that's going to help us. Omen power, diplomacy. Diplomacy will definitely help us at the moment because I. I'm a little bit scared. I don't want to be attacked by our brutal neighbor Egypt. Because I would never stand a chance against them. And this is kind of what worries me. 20k of soldiers at my borders. And also these aren't these are heavy soldiers, so that's that's kinda bad thing that's a pretty bad thing research we need religion one uh, 
I'm not sure. Yes, we. I guess we going to do that guy for this position. And we need governor for that as well. There aren't many people left. It's kind of interesting. Holding income minus them. He is bad. Well. Disloyal Providence and the unused freight route. So let's see uh, which things we got. We got the vegetables and we got a surplus of honey. That's also good. But I kind of want to do something about the happiness. So populations, there's nothing we can do with that. Economic den, there's also no economic that's kind of pity. Mm. Surplus in the capital uh, will do. Well, I guess we are going for a surplus in the capital, but we'll need one more. And I guess we are going to unpause for now because, well, I kind of want to go in slow. All right, so the armies are retreating. That's a good thing. And our stability is slowly going up, so that's good as well. Manpower is slowly growing. Raising a host. Oh. Nabatal Marchai, in his capacity as a general, has begun using his own personal funds to augment the size of his assigned army. Oh, that's interesting. We are unsure whether to applause it, yes, because he's one. Is he one of the. No, he's not one of the pretenders. But why nonsense doing a fine job? Well, let, let him do. I'm not paying it. So that's interesting. As well, I'm going to drop the maintenance of the armies as well. Let's see if we can get our money up. Moral of army is good. And the next thing we are going to do as soon as we can get Inomen. Wages, army maintenance lower. Alright, so this is this is a good thing. Now we are in the plus. And we can do a military tradition. And I kind of want to do, do desert sand because our next focus is going to be to get this section. And I might want to become ally with these guys as well. Because this just turned into an interesting little offer and lies. They would even accept it. No, there is a local power. We are regional power. Different ranks cannot. So I kind of need to find a regional power. Which regional power that I don't want to invade? Because that's kind of the most interesting thing would be able to help me and that's also it is are you a regional power regional power i wonder if there's a map mode province mode regional political map mode no i got a lot of opinions This could be interesting. This guy. You are. Are you. Do you have troops? How many soldiers? And what are you? 
subject country. So you're a subject from who? Ooh, from that guy. Tamatan is a local power. I'm a regional. Oh man, that's kind of annoying. Why did they make that the way? Because there are a lot of small countries that I cannot do anything about. I cannot forge alliances with big Egypt and, well, even bigger Prigeria next to me. All right, so the unrest is slowly dropping. Do need to keep an eye on that. Power cost, we got a little bit of corruption and we got... Well, at the moment we only got one general who is quite annoying. But other than that, we're doing fine. More exhaustion is dropping. Mm, all right. So we are doing pretty good at the moment. I'm going to go a little bit, speed up the game a little bit. And let's take a look at the world. Because a lot of things has happened. Rome has increased. Nothing really interesting going on in... What's this? Ooh, interesting. I didn't know if this was there. Marina, that's a great looking country. Ooh, that scared the hell out of me. Safe haven from Pragia. We have heard our neighbors of Pragia are threatening the Jewish population in Gar Gadara. Where is that? Uh, let's get back home. Gadara. I have no idea where this is. Where is one of these cities? No. All right. Oh well. They just threatened them, but the biggest problem. I cannot take the risk. I can't afford the risk with the relationship because if they don't like us, they are definitely going to. Different culture groups. The aggressive expansion. So for the moment I cannot risk this. Judea lose religion power and Hebrew cities move from into Oh this is so No, we're not going to risk it. So I will lose a little bit of legitimacy, but I'm getting some more omen power. Major discoveries, sacrificing our standard way of, we could do that. That's also a thing we can do because, uh, well, I kind of want to, this is costing me 80 omen power. But it will improve my monthly stability a lot. And I kind of need that. More stability means less unrest. All right. So what is Egypt planning in? Oh. The uh, trade route has disappeared. Oh my god. Something is going on. Import. Uh, I 
can still do not much. A surplus in the capital will... I don't want to move slaves, so that's not going to do us anything. What's this? I got blockaded ports? Oh, great. Pirates. Right, we'll have to look into that because that's a new feature in the game. I am going well. There's no surplus in province. Uh, well, no, I'm going with that one. Right. So, this is a new thing in the game blockading my poor but who are you because i have totally got no ships i can hire them but oh and we can also do the omen thing uh national tax or the unrest popularity no i cannot state religion happiness no i'll go for the money at the moment because i want to improve my country a lot so where are you coming from? There's nothing I can do about you. Led by a clip Piastrit. So they are going to raid. I have no idea where you where they come from. Which because you we should be able to see where they come from. But I have no idea how to do that. This unit has a total blockade of contribution of uh, spread across two. Ah, there it is. The pirate haven is Magna. But where is Magna? I guess it should be pretty close. It should be one of those ports. Because the ships have, a, have some range. And uh, Magna. Let's see if we can find it. Magna. There it is. Uh huh. You're coming from my city, or is it not my? Yeah. You guys. The oh, these pirates are currently raiding that. So, but where can I see where they come from? Because that's what I want to see. Pirates. Pillos. Maybe if I search for pillos, rewrit. Some names are quite crazy in here. And then the last part of the war is... Let's see. So... That's kind of interesting. Uh, they they are pillowed pirates, but I I guess that because they are led by them, they will arrive at Sinus. This is quite annoying because now I don't know where they come from. Hmm. And there is nothing really I can do about it. Yeah, I can build ships, but. There is nothing really. They are now dying because. Oh my god, what can we do? If you know, guys know what to do about the pirates, except building a fleet, then I would really like to know. Following cities are starving, as I was expecting that. And we could... No, yeah, we could do honey, but... Hmm. Nope, there's nothing we can do at the moment. Just speed up the game a little bit. Let's take a look at the decisions we can do. We can adopt plurocratic monarchy we're not going to do that embrace adopt imperial ambition judea lose 10 stability uh, but we get one 
Confirm provide benefit ruler reign for life. But we lose the ability. Uh, we could change to Arabic Pantheon, but well, we're not going to the Arabic religion. This one is kind of interesting. This is definitely an interesting one. But I will lose 10 stability. Judah adopt the empire government form. Monarchy. All right. All right, let's see what we can do and more we can do the import values that's going to help us. And then let's take a look at our southern neighbor. Because these guys have 14 and they got 20 in total. So there's nothing really we can do then except speed up the game a little bit. What are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we at war? Why are you guys? Why are you having troops in here? You're at war with me? Oh my god! How did that start? I have no idea. I have really no idea. What just happened? What? All right, so I guess we are at war. That, that's kind of annoying. And I might have missed something. I'm going to watch back this recording because I, I didn't declare war with them. What do you even want? Suggest. Why? All right, so uh, you having more troops is kind of nice. Sending you guys down, I'm going to improve my uh, money if I can find it. Or non clan, no, uh, army men is already up again. All right, so. I have no idea how this has started. How can it start without even a warning? Can we see why taking the Arabian Relicta? All right, so that's that one. But I kind of want to destroy that army before we even get close. But I also want my moral to go up. Looks like you guys are going that way. This is nice. I do want my moral to be up. Constantly breaking his siege. I like that. made a mistake
all right did we do it right yeah we did do it right now let's hope these troops get in there on time no how the hell what all right we're going to pull back all our troops and i need camels i need camels or at least heavy troops recruit heavy cavalry one two three i'll be poor i know that but i don't want to lose this this land so my army will pull back we can do another invention well we can do that one uh this is hard today this is definitely hard i always want stability to go up select you pause you're the guy with the six and you're the guy with four so you're going to be selected you get the cavalry Should at least be able to take his army down. But my manpower is one of the biggest problems. But I think having the cavalry is definitely helping. And I know it's going to cost me dearly, but... take all the land back I was expecting more troops a lot more troops taking down that army where is I kind of want to sue for a white piece. That's all I need. I think I lost my cavalry. No, I don't. Where are, did all my troops go? This is quite annoying that they have so many small troops. All right, so we captured one of
Manpower is really becoming a problem. In the minds of the LO season, Ichmal Karak and one of our most esteemed governors held a vast and lavish party at summer. Oh my god, even more. Uh, demand his resignation. I kind of not. Ishmael's. I think he's losing 200. Yeah, so that's. Oh my, and they already got more troops incoming. I can never beat Can we hire mercenaries? Can we go into debt? I don't know Man I see no way of winning this No way This is going to be damn hard. But how this will end, you guys have to see in the next episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I definitely did. But I'm not sure how to fix this. So if you guys got any tips, tricks, I would really love to know. Because I have no idea. I definitely have no idea. So it could be possible we lose a lot of chunk of land to a big enemy. Or we'll find a problem or solution to this all because we already have war exhaustion that's way higher than we can handle. But maybe, maybe suggest war balance is not good, so no, they will not accept it. If we could have was just an ally. Somebody who hates them. Uh, no, uh, who hates them. This is truce. But there is nobody who hates them. Well, we'll have to see that in the next episode. See you guys in the next video.